when things go wrong. Toddler temper tantrums. As a babysitter, I just love watching toddlers. I mean, they're so cute. They're super curious and they love to learn about everything. That makes them pretty entertaining to be around. But they also wanna do things, like everything for themselves. That's one of their cute, but sometimes not so cute qualities. Try telling a toddler that it's time to change their diaper. Nope, they have something else they'd rather be doing. Or that it's time for bed. What, time for bed? Oh no, it's not. It's time to throw a temper tantrum. Okay, girls, it's time to take a nap. <laughs> See, toddlers are just too young to know or follow rules and directions. Like I said before, they just wanna do their own thing. Throw in their short attention spans and you have a job that requires major patience on your part. Because when a toddler can't handle their frustration or anger very well, they express themselves by having a tantrum. So knowing that, it's kind of easier to deal with. But still, not so cute. Here's what you need to do to keep your cool during a temper tantrum. It kind of looks like Peppa Pig. But it's not Peppa Pig. Don't argue with the toddler. You'll never win. Just saying. If the toddler throws her body to the ground and starts kicking, a classic toddler move, just move things out of the way so they don't hurt themselves or break anything. Ignore them as best you can, but don't leave the room. You need to always stay right there so you can keep an eye on them. Stay calm. I know, easier said than done, but it's important to remember. After the tantrum is over, and I promise it will end eventually, try these things. Quietly comfort or hold the toddler. Remember, a tantrum is scary and upsetting to them too. Distract them with a game or play with them. Resist any urge to punish them. It won't prevent any future tantrums. Toddlers are way too young to understand the rules and realize how their behavior impacts you. They're just expressing their emotions. Like you, they're upset. Unlike you, they don't have the maturity to manage those feelings. So next time you come across a case of the terrible twos, just take a deep breath and say, I got this. And when you get home, give your mom a hug for being so patient when you were a toddler. Thanks, mom. See you next time.